All right guys, we got Philip in the chair. We already cut the top down, added some texture, cut the sides down to a number three. I'm gonna show you guys how to apply a nice clean part on the side. Not a side part like a comb over, but a part down the side, and then we're gonna pack the fade underneath. All right, so you guys can see the line that used to be here. You can just barely see it. Now remember guys, as the hair grows, the line is gonna work its way down. So it's a little bit lower than normal. I'm gonna take it right off this top corner. First and foremost guys, you wanna use a trimmer that's gonna punch a sharp line. So this is the Stockcraft Saber. This is one of the best trimmers I've used. Another thing that's important guys, if you come straight square off of the hairline corner sometimes, it will look like it slopes down. We wanna come a little bit higher. It's gonna look like it's going up, but when you look at it afterward on the side, it's gonna look better. And then we're gonna go ahead and just drop it on the back. So we're gonna do little by little. I'm gonna just start at the corner. And like I said, you guys wanna use a good trimmer that is gonna feed the hair super easy. We don't wanna really push it around. So little by little, we, we got quite a bit of hair we're punching through here. I'm gonna start to drop it in the back slightly. The more it's dropped, the more of a curve of a line. You know, you can apply these techniques to a design, guys, but the more of a curve, we wanna use the corner of the blade on the straight lines, we can use the whole blade. So you see we gotta work to here. We'll just keep working that line down. I'm not trying to make it perfect and thick at the first little line that we're doing. I'm gonna go in later and we'll clean it up. So we're not really looking for this to be perfect in one lick. We're gonna drop it around the back just slightly and then we'll come in and start to clean it up a little bit. So one technique, guys, to help get this top line clean is we're gonna use our scissors. I can come in from right here and actually cut this line in. You just follow the line that you cut with the trimmers and cut it down and it will help clean up this hair on top. You can use a trimmer, but sometimes the trimmer just moves hair out of the way. So you guys can work it with the line. You can even start with your scissors and cut a line like that. But you guys see this, the scissors basically cut anything that's hanging over the line that's making it not as clean as we want. Now that we got kind of a rough draft, we cleaned it up with our scissors, we can come back through. We're gonna really focus on getting this top line exactly how we want it. So guys, when you do designs, when you do lines like this, both sides of the line need to be cleaned up. That's why we wanna go so little by little because if you try to attack it too quick, that line will start to get thicker than you want. So right now we're just focused on the top side of the line. I cleaned it up with my scissors. Now I'm coming in with my trimmer again. I'm just trying to clean it up. I don't know how well you guys can see, but we just got some like loose overhanging hairs and I just wanna make sure those are cleaned up. Get the top of the line where I want it and then I can come in and do the bottom of the line. Now on something like this guys I like it to be a little bit thicker at the top and get super skinny when we get to the back. When we clean up the bottom line in the front we will make it a little bit thicker and then it will get skinny as we go back and after we get done with the line guys we're gonna pack the fade in right underneath. So you guys can see it's already looking pretty good. A little bit of overhang here on the bangs. Now I'm gonna flip my trimmer guys very carefully I'm gonna come in. I'm not trying to really push it down drastically. I just want to hit those hairs anything that's making that line not as sharp as we want and we're just cutting that bottom edge of the line you guys can already see how much better that looks we're gonna come in and add some fibers when we're done with the cut as well so we'll work our way from there all the way through the back and then we'll be done with the line I right, guess so we got the line cut in I'm gonna go ahead and do a ball fade on the side we're gonna add some fibers to make it extra sharp if you guys want to see the rest of the cut don't go anywhere
All right, guys, we're gonna add some fibers. I just wanna show you guys how these fibers will make this line pop. So I have, so these are our 245 fibers. This is the brown colorway. I'm just gonna dust it on, guys. So I'm just, I'm not really looking to like soak it. And I'm spraying it on the actual line. And when we come back in with our trimmer, we're gonna scoot it to both edges. So I'm just dusting it on. We're gonna hit his top bottom of his beard as well. Just dust him in. And then when we push that line to where we want it, it's gonna get extra sharp. So a little bit on his hairline. We'll line up that C cup a little bit. Just dust him on the beard a little bit. Now that they're on, guys, we just have to use the trimmer, basically pushing it to the line. Just gonna make it a little extra sharp. So again, we, we kind of got the line where we want it, so we don't really want to make it bigger. But you guys will see, as soon as I hit this with the trimmer, it's taking it off of his skin and making the hair extra dark. But look how sharp that thing looks. I'll just work my trimmer over it one more time. Again, guys, making sure we're not, we're not trying to cut more hair here. We're just trying to get the fibers off the skin. If you guys wanted to, you could use like an enhancement card, the clutch card, if you wanted to, to keep it off the skin. But but for me, I kind of like doing this and pushing it to the skin. It's kind of making the line even darker. You can see, super bright. See that white popping through? Go ahead and hit the C cup. We did dust a little bit on there as well, so you guys will see as we cut it off of his cheek, it's just gonna leave a little bit sharper of a line. So again, guys, we're not trying to cut a bunch of hair off. I am gonna come in with a razor and hit his beard, and then we will flip the trimmer one more time and hit the top edge here, and then we'll be done with the cut. I'm not gonna show you guys the other side. This is really just about this line right here now when we hit this other side guys it's gonna be extra sharp now one negative of using fibers guys I can't really come in and hit it with shave gel and a razor so you could dry shave this if you wanted to a little bit risky I don't really like dry shaving in a part like this because it's a little bit difficult a little bit uh, irritating for the client you guys can see that moves some of the fibers around by doing that so just come back in one more time and hit it and then we will be pretty much done I'm gonna hit his beard with a razor get him styled and then you guys can can check it out. for the video. I hope you guys gained something on how to put in clean parts. Obviously, guys, we use some fibers to enhance it, but you guys can see how sharp it is. If you guys liked it, do me a favor, smash that thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this haircut on my man Phil. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I got plenty of content coming. Appreciate you guys watching. Catch you guys next time.